Hey guys, how's it going? If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, what do all of these controller settings do? We've got the center dead zones, the max input threshold, and the axial dead zones. And also we have our acceleration. Not many people know exactly what all of these mean, so I'm gonna kind of break them down in this video. So what I want you to do is go into a training mode in Academy here, and then go into your settings or your training options. I set primary weapon for battle rifle because that's gonna be the main weapon that we're gonna be using to practice what all of these controller settings do and to try and find our right sensitivity for us, okay? Um, so I put zero friendly bots, four enemy bots, and I put them um, with play fighting on so that way they jump around and still move and infinite ammo. And I made sure to put them on Spartan so they're the hardest, like their movement is the best, so that way we could practice the most, okay? Now, go into your settings and go all the way down to your movement thumbstick and your look thumbstick and put everything at zero, okay? If you wanna take a picture of your settings, what they're currently at, because you kind of feel comfortable with what you've got, then go ahead and do that, but Go in here and change your movement and your look thumbstick. Put everything at zero, okay? We're gonna start with axial dead zones. So axial dead zone is gonna be one of the most important ones. So that one is going to be what controls your drifting. So what drifting is, is if you put everything at zero, your, your controller probably will have a drift in it. Meaning that when I go back to the game, my Spartan, since my axial for my movement is at zero and my axial for look is at zero. My, my, um, my thumbstick is going to move on its own. Like my aim is going to be moving on its own and my Spartan is going to be walking on its own. So I'm going to go back. See, I'm walking backwards and my aim is slowly drifting upward. Okay, so that gets solved with your axial. So go into your settings and go to your axial. Um, dead zone and just bump that up slightly um, I would bump it up I mean mine is good at three so if I put both of those at three I I get zero drift in movement and I get zero drift in my look right so I'm no longer drifting anywhere so that's where I want to be for axial yours might be different so you want to go in there and you want to test it out so bump it up to like two if you're not drifting on either of those then it's perfect okay Next thing we're going to talk about is the um, max input threshold. So the max input threshold um, is pretty much the time it takes to get to your look acceleration. So if your look acceleration is, let's say it's five, right? Um, your max input threshold for your looking, right? So if I look around, you see how like fast that is. Um, that's at zero. So that's the time it takes to get to my maximum acceleration. So you see how it starts to go It starts off kind of slower and then it goes kind of quick All right. Now. Let's say I put this max input threshold at 15 So 15 means it's gonna hit my acceleration faster. So that way it's going to spin faster. So see how quickly I get to my max um, my max acceleration it goes much quicker so if you want to have a fi um, a faster acceleration like time to get to your acceleration you want to bump that up to 15. Um, so with movement we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at movement so movement we want to have on 15. Um, the reason why is because your thumbstick right when you're moving right and left, it is way more responsive with your max input threshold being on 15. So if you strafe quickly, it's going to pick that up faster and it's gonna allow you to move back and forth much quicker with your movement. Um, with the look thumbstick, I kind of like it at zero just because I like it slowly getting to my acceleration. I don't like how quick it is when my max input threshold is maxed. So I personally keep my look thumbstick at zero but my movement thumbstick at 15, okay? And then center dead zone, your center dead zone means um, where your thumbstick is going to register if you move it from center. So think about your thumbstick, right? 
if you want your thumbstick to register like immediately even for like the smallest little movement it will register that if you have your center dead zone on zero if you put your center dead zone all the way up to 15 when you go to turn or when you go to move like right and left i have to push it pretty far away from away from center in order to get it to actually register whereas if i had it on zero it registers pretty much immediately so i personally like to have mine at zero see i'm barely barely pushing that thumbstick and it is moving to the left i'm barely touching it so i personally like that so that way i can micro adjust and have um tighter movements and or tighter tighter aiming you know so that way it's easier for me so go in and adjust those settings first find out what you feel comfortable with and then from there go in and adjust your sensitivities um this is the part that i'm still working on myself because i haven't found something that i'm super comfortable with putting my look acceleration at one feels kind of funky putting it at three is kind of weird putting it at five is kind of weird so i've been I've got my my actual thumbstick stuff set down here on the bottom where I want it to be for both looking and movement. Um, and now I'm just kind of tweaking my actual sensitivity. So once you have those settings set, like that's all you need to have done for your look in your axial, you know, like your dead zones and stuff. Once you have those set, you're good to go. Then you just it's sensitivity from there. You just figure out what you're comfortable with. And then if you if you do kind of feel comfortable with the sensitivity, but you want to go in later and you want to check out your your like threshold, maybe your threshold, maybe you want that higher or something. That's something that you can tweak later. But I just wanted to break everything down and show you guys what all of that means. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, if this video was helpful, please let me know. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe if you guys like it you know it pushes this video out to more people more halo fans more people that might actually need help with controller settings and dead zones and stuff like that so share it with your friends and everything appreciate you guys thank you bye